yeah, uh, proud of these guys, happy for this team. Uh, really want to start off by thanking the Helaney family and, and Charles Helaney with the tip-off classic today for everything they've done for SIU Athletics. And then I want to thank the Dog Pound, uh, Chancellor Lane, and, and this whole community for coming out. Uh, an electric atmosphere. Um, our guys fed off that energy, and, you know, our guys never let up. Uh, and the student section was awesome. Um, so, uh, you know, overall with the game, I thought we got off to a great start. And, and then I thought our effort was consistent for 40 minutes. You know, we got to do a better job executing, taking care of the ball a little bit. But our bench came in and gave us a huge lift throughout the game, scored 51 points. We had different guys step up on both ends of the floor. So pleased, happy for these guys that put in a lot of work and, and to play in front of that type of crowd tonight. I know they enjoyed it. And we just got to keep, uh, you know, getting better here as we move forward with the season. Brian, uh, we talked periodically during the offseason coming into this year about uh, what you hope would be better depth, more balance, more ways to score. Is that kind of what you envision tonight, seeing those different ways to uh, come alive in front of you on the floor? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've said it with this group since we got here, it's going to be our strength in numbers. You know, all 15 guys have got impact winning on a daily basis. And, um, you know, everyone who came in, was positive, you know, did something positive to help us today. So uh, it's got to be like that throughout the season. We're going to have different guys step up uh, each night and everyone's got to be about winning. And, and that's what I love about these guys and why they're all here is they want to win a championship. Uh, so we got to continue, like I said, to get better. And as a staff, we're going to continue to find rotations and lineups that kind of work in terms of what type of defenses and offenses that we need. And, and that's going to be the growing process through the non-conference. Is that part of the growing process? What Deep, the defense tonight, um, is that part of the growing process you're talking about? You got some good possessions, you got some possessions you probably want to have back over on that end. Cool. Yeah, first half we were pretty good overall. The second half, uh, you know, they got into the paint too much. They had too many easy baskets in the second half. And, you know, we've been stressing that to our guys constantly about, you know, just make them earn it. Tough twos, tough twos, tough twos. And uh, I thought in the second half, Low Rock did a good job of driving us and, and being able to get in the paint against us. So we got to clean that up uh, for Thursday. Pleasing to see 48 to 25 on the boards. Yeah, definitely. We had different guys step up. Clarence had eight, Juwan had seven. Um, we had offensive rebounds, free throw offensive rebounds. So, uh, you know, taking away from Kansas State and Alabama, the rebounding part was a huge emphasis for us throughout this last week. Yeah. One more thing, just about Thursday night, first thoughts on going down to Stillwater and seeing a Big 12 opponent? Oh, uh, you know, haven't thought much about it. Excited for the opportunity. You know, uh, hopefully the Kansas State game, the Alabama game, gave our guys an idea of what it's going to be like. Obviously, Oklahoma State, Coach Boyne's a great coach. They have a great program, very talented team. Um, and we'll start looking at them here tonight and, and tomorrow and get all over it. You mentioned uh, Clarence. You mentioned um, Juwan. You know, these, these, these transfers, they seem to have picked it up right where you expected them to. Yeah, I mean, all of them have came in, you know, all the new guys, uh, you know, Xavier, Juwan, AJ, Clarence, and then you got Foster and Scotty who redshirted last year, you know, so just in terms of our depth, um, those guys have worked extremely hard, you know, and, and they can all help us in different ways. They're all different types of players, so it gives us a lot of versatility. Scotty running the floor like he did, is that kind of one of the most intriguing things about what he can bring to this team? Yeah, he's got to do it every time. You know, that's our yeah. biggest thing for him. He's got great feet. Um, he's got good hands. So if he can sprint, you know, every time, it can put a lot of pressure on that defense, a lot of pressure on the rim. So that's, you know, what we work with him on is just, you know, being able to be in that type of shape where he can sprint every single time down. And just one more thing, just kind of glad to have this this ship off off the, off the harbor, so to speak. And, uh, Kind of out in the water, seeing what, what what this team's going to be capable of doing this year. Now you have a game. Uh, yeah, you know, obviously those the, the two exhibition games or the scrimmage and the exhibition game. Um, nothing's like the first game. And and you know, you know Little Rock coach Walker is a great coach. Uh, you know, like I said, I think our our fans were awesome tonight, and our guys, uh, they loved it. You know, you could tell by their energy, and they were playing uh, to the fans, and um, you know, to be able to open up at home and have a win. You know, it's a great way to start the season. Lance, as far as opening nights go, could this one have gone much better for your team? Nah, man, uh, it was a lot of emotions, a lot of excitement, you know, running through our bodies. Uh, we were excited to open up in front of the uh, Dog Pound and the rest of the fans. It was just an amazing atmosphere tonight. Was, I mean, I can't thank the fans enough. The Dog Pound was crazy, uh, and I feel like the game was uh, very special and went really good. 
Yeah. Is this the type of team you kind of thought this this group could have with the with the depth and the and the balance scored and everything that went on out there tonight? Is this kind of what you envisioned? Uh, for sure. I mean, everybody works really hard. Uh, you know, we trust everybody on the court. Um, and you know, it's just a it's a team effort. Uh, it's not a one person thing or a two person thing. Um, everybody, you know, contributes in in the right way. Uh, one of my takeaways from the Xavier Johnson, the way he distributes the ball, seems like he found the ability to put the ball into the pocket for you guys to yeah. be able to. How important is that as a shooter to have the ball right there for you? Uh, it's really important, you know. Uh, you know, playing off the guard, um, Xavier. You know, he does a good job getting downhill, uh, breaking that first line of defense, and you know, finding whether it's me or Trent uh, or, you know, Scotty or Marcus down low. Um, I think he did a really good job <clears throat> of uh, playing with poise tonight and, uh, you know, finding open people. What did you think of the team's defense tonight? Um, I feel like, you know, we could have played better transition defense. Um, we gave up a lot of transition uh, buckets to them. Uh, they were getting out and running after made baskets. So, if you know, we limit that and, you know, limit our, our turnovers to them getting out in transition, then I feel like, you know, we'll, we'll be successful. You mentioned it's good to get this first win. How important was that hot start for you guys coming out the gates and swinging? Uh, it was very important. I mean, we haven't played in front of our fans in a really, really long time. Um, and, you know, you get those get those jitters out of the way, uh, it, was, it, it was very needed for sure. Okay. Uh, one more thing. Uh, what's what's your first, uh, first thoughts about going to Oklahoma State Thursday night? Um, we're just going to prepare like we always do, um, try our best, uh, you know, live with outcome. What was your, where were your thoughts on tonight's game? Uh, I, I thought it was good. Um, I thought the starting five did a really good job of, you know, getting out there and giving us a good boost. Um, I thought we played really hard. We played with energy. Uh, thankfully, we had the home crowd this year to, you know, kind of boost that as well. Um, but there's obviously things we still need to improve on. But overall, I thought we did really well and came out with a W. So that's all that matters. As far as your performance, uh, 14 points off the bench, is it mean or just did you just look and feel that much more confident out there this year? Uh, yeah, for sure. I, I talked about it earlier that I think my confidence is uh, definitely changed from last year. This year, um, I'm starting to feel healthy again. Um, last year, I was you know dealing with some stuff uh, injury wise, but I definitely feel confident anytime I step out there and I'm um, just looking to make the right play for if it's for myself or for my teammates. You think people kind of get the got to see the, the depth and the balance that you guys had envisioned having with the additions in the offseason? How, how much fun was that to see that come to fruition tonight? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, all the guys came came to play tonight, uh, and, and we're going to need that, especially when you get into Valley play and, you know, you play those tough teams like Drake and Missouri State. Uh, so I think this was a good job to, you know, kind of get, get our feet wet, uh, and we just need those guys to continue to produce uh, going forward. What did you think of the defensive performance tonight? Yeah, I, I think at times it was it was special. Um, there's definitely there was definitely times where you know we lost a little bit of our connectivity, um, but I think for the most part, it was a good it was a good experience for us, and we just got to keep building uh, going forward.